and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Lord Nod at day three of E3. We are having a ball here. We are nearly at the fag end of everything, but guys, we have to go ahead and get every one of the gamers really excited about this game. All of you guys who love tech, who love hacking, who love stealth, who love basically playing God and changing everything around you, guys, you must have seen Watch Dogs. If you've not seen the trailer, the trailer is down below, but we have right now senior producer on Watch Dog, Dominique, on the show. Hey, hey, Dominic, welcome to the show. Tell us, tell us about Watch Dogs. Yeah, so Watch Dogs in UIP uh, by Ubisoft Montreal. It's an open world action adventure game set in our time in the city of Chicago. And you play a man named Aiden Pierce. The guy has a pretty shady background. He's done some crimes, but most importantly, he's done hacking. And so in the game, you basically start you know, by being on a quest for vengeance, but eventually you become a full-blown vigilante in Chicago where you're able to hack into any computer. So we've seen some amazing footage, especially what we saw uh, at the launch at the press conference and what we're seeing in the game right now. So to walk us through this. So there's this guy, he's got this little cell phone, he presses a button and uh, he can literally hack a network. So you can go from one point to another point and change the world, right? Yeah, so he's able to do things physically, right? He's got weapons, he can use his fist, he can drive anything, but he can also hack into any computer. So that's smartphones but also the computers that manage transport system, electricity in the city, or cell phone communication. So basically you're able to hack into all those things. In the demo we showed one of our most powerful hacks. Aiden threw his smartphone, hacks into the smart grid, and takes power off in the entire city of Chicago to create a, dis a diversion. But he can also like create an accident hacking into traffic lights, or he can, open, uh, he can, uh, he can hack into cell phone communication to listen to people's conversation. So basically that makes him very powerful, but that also gives him a lot of information on people's secrets. So all of you guys, if you're as old as I am and if you're one of those old school gamers, there was this game called Shadowrun, which was there, the Shadowrun part one, not the one that came out on the Xbox, but the first one was the premise. It, it, it let you go ahead and hack any network. You're going from point to point. And this literally gives you free roaming hack systems across the planet. And, and, and it's phenomenal. If you've not checked it out, it is beautiful. The demo is beautiful. Wanted to go ahead and talk a little about the music. The music is beautiful in this. Who's the composer? Uh, so I don't remember the name of our composer right now. But we have both songs that are com composed music specifically to create ambience in our world. But we're also licensing a lot of real world music. And one of the cool things with music in Watch Dogs is you can basically, as you explore the city, if you find songs you like, you can go in game and download them, basically like buying them, but you know, with in game money. And then you can create your own playlist. So as you go around the city, you, you grab songs and you build your playlist that you like to listen to. Ambient songs, you literally, like, if I was you, this is Google Glass, you're going somewhere. I said, I like that song, I want that song, buy that song. And it's all in game kind of it's currency. In game, yeah, exactly. Phenomenal. This is not a DLC, this is not something you buy with real money, but you can just go buy cool songs. Uh, and that just encourages you to go ahead and discover stuff. How big is the game in terms of size? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, it's uh, when we make an open world game, we want to we wanna allow players to you know lose themselves in the city. And the thing with Aiden is since he can listen to people's conversation, he can look behind closed door what's going on. He's got a lot of different storylines, different secrets he can start, can start getting engaged in. So not only can he complete the main storyline, the main quest if you want, but he can explore the city and give himself his own objective, basically. So the game, the game is literally single player. You've not thought of multiplayer in this, oh, have yes. you? There is a lot of multiplayer in it, actually. Tell us about that. So one of the things that we wanted to do is to allow players who are playing single player to cross path with other player. One of the things that we're showing here to do at, at E3 is that you can be playing your single player in the city and then someone's trying to hack you. You need to find him. When you find him, it's actually another player who jumped in your game, invaded your game and tried to hack into you. So if you find him, you're able to kill him. You're also able to go back in his game when he's not aware that you'll be there. You'll think, you'll think you're an AI like anyone else and then you're able to hack into him. So you can basically put viruses in other players to become one of the most powerful hackers out there. That sounds so phenomenal. It is so cool that if someone is actually hacking you, it might be a real person. And get, guess what? You can have payback. Payback two hours later, maybe payback three hours later, maybe payback when he's hacking you. So maybe you can jump into his system when he's out and go ahead and do stuff. That sounds so phenomenal and so cool that it is mind-blowing. So let's go jump straight off into when is this available, what platforms, and 
Yeah, so the game is coming out on November 21st worldwide. It's going to be on PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, 360, and also the Xbox One, PC, and Wii U at launch. Every gaming device yeah. on the planet. And obviously for the PS4 and Xbox One, we don't have the date they're shipping yet, but we'll be there soon after. Nice, nice. This is, and what about you? Like, you're a senior producer. What do you love about the game? So, I don't know how that, if it'll make you look a bit creepy, but one of the things that I like is, you know, we're all a little bit of wire inside of us. We like to see what's behind closed door, what people say what we can hear. Well, in Watch Dogs, you can basically hack into buildings and enter people's private homes. And you can be, for example, in someone's webcams in their house, and you see what they're doing. So there's plenty of areas in the city, in our Chicago, where you can basically hack into people's houses, discover what they're doing, steal stuff from them, or spy on them. It's a little creepy, but it's also very fun and very surprising what you can find there. And it's real. That's, that's literally how everything is. Uh you know, on the planet in, in real life and definitely in the world of Watch Dogs. Guys, I think this is phenomenal. I think we love what going, you're going to do with Watch Dogs. I love to go ahead and play the game. Guys, uh, the link to go ahead and get the game down below. Uh, you can pre-order this from any of your favorite websites. Uh, we look forward to going and seeing what uh, Watch Dogs comes in and this is phenomenal. You have to go ahead and check it out. This is Lord Nod signing off from E3.